How can you teach your bunnies to jump over your arm? Hello everyone, I am Mariska and I'm the bunny mom of four adorable rabbits. Today I'm going to show you how you can teach your rabbit to jump over your arm. Rabbits are very smart creatures and they are very energetic. They like to jump, they like to run and they also like to be social. So teaching your rabbit tricks is a great way to, you know, be social with them, to get to know them better, to, you know, do something you both enjoy. So to teach your rabbit the following trick, you only need some treats and your arm. So it's something most of you can do yourself. And you know, it's something fun you can do with your rabbits. This is something they have never done before. They have jumped through a hoop and they have jumped over a hurdle before. But this is something entirely new to them. So you can watch how they, you know, take their first steps, how they learn the trick, if they cooperate today. <laughs> so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold up my arm as lowly as low as possible because they have to you know they have to learn to jump over it so i'm not going to hold it very high because then you know it's very difficult so i'm going to use treats to lure my bunnies to jump over my arm this is how you can teach your bunnies most tricks because of course they love treats they want to do everything to get a treat so after a while your bunny will associate the treat with the trick so whenever they have jumped over your arm or done some other trick, they will expect a treat. And you know, they will remember it for a while at least. So these are little bead cushions, but I have other treats as well. I have some uh, bunny granola. The bunny granola looks like this. But you can also use pieces of carrot or banana or something else your bunny is really really fond of. The more fond your bunny is of the treat, the more he is willing to cooperate. So let's start right away and see how my bunnies perform. with Poppy and Silver and I can already see progress because I can see Silver jump over my arm even without me holding the, the treats behind my arm so Silver is really getting the gist of it so yesterday my bunnies already made the first steps learning this trick and I want to give them some time to you know to digest all of it and of course you know teaching a rabbit tricks it's takes a lot of treats so I didn't want to overfeed my rabbits so I thought it was a good idea to continue practicing today because otherwise they get too much treats too many treats and that's of course not good for them <laughs> they're still very enthusiastic they think there are going to be more treats and I can see that silver really is the star of tricks here
of all very excited right now because they are getting so many treats so for now for today we're done because i don't want to overfeed them um, but they, they are still very enthusiastic and when playing this game you have to be aware that they can jump onto your arm so i've got several scratches on my arm i don't really mind <laughs> silver is still excited he still wants to play the game look do you still want to play the game, Silva? Are you still a bit hungry then? I, oh! oh. <laughs> he was uh, biting in my, uh, in my clothes. Still want to jump over? Yes! <laughs> he still wants to jump over. Well, one more, one more. You need your reward, right? Yes. Oh, I love you. You are so cute. You are so cute. So as I said, Silver is quicker to learn new things than Popje. And Silver is also quite dominant when playing this game. So he tries to be in front all of the time. And Popje gets less of a chance to jump over my arms. Maybe when I had more time with Popje alone, she would have a chance to learn more. But because Silver is so dominant, he's the one jumping over my arm all the time. But it can depend on the rabbits you have. Some rabbits don't really like the game. They just want the food. So they will try to get beneath your arm to, you know, get easy access. <laughs> but Silver really likes playing the game. He's very active. He likes to jump over my arm. And I also play games with them with a hoop and a hurdle. So those are the next things you can try too. Sometimes it can be e easier to do those things. Because right now I have to hold my arm all the time. So when I have to treat in one hand, it's easier to use the other arm for them to jump over. Otherwise you have to cross your arms. So I was struggling a bit with that. And you know, when you have a hurdle, then it's just standing there. Or when you have to hoop. You can, you know, you can hold it in one hand and use the other hand, you know, to give the treats. So that can be a bit easier. Also, it can be advisable to play this game when your bunnies are most active. So in the morning and the evenings. Right now it's past noon, so actually they are supposed to sleep. But Poppy and Silver do everything for a treat, so... It really wasn't a problem, but well, I can see them resting right now. They are tired, so I'm going to leave them alone for now. I hope this video was interesting to you and enjoyable to watch. I really enjoyed playing with Poppy and Silver. And please let me know if you have tried this game with your bunnies and if they managed to jump over your arm. I'm very curious to your experiences. And if you want to watch more videos in the future, you can subscribe to my channel. And then we can see each other next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.